Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chichi Barnabas. You're welcome here. This is the channel that teaches you everything you need to know in order to publish or sell, publish your book on Kindle Direct Publishing Platform. And in today's video, you are going to learn how to unpublish a book on KDP the right way. You may have been unpublishing books on KDP, but I assure you, you may have been doing it the wrong way. So, so now I'm going to go through how people unpublish their books the wrong way and then I will show you the right way to unpublish your book and not have any troubles with KDP. So first of all I'm going to log into my account right now and I will show you a step-by-step -step process on how people unpublish their book the wrong way and after then I will show you the right way to do yours. So here am I headed to my account right now so right now I'm in my Amazon account. So let's say for instance I want to publish my book title 1001 Way, 1001 Unique Dad Jokes. What most people do, which is wrong, is they just head over to the three dots here and then they click on unpublished ebook. Now when you do this, you are doing it the wrong way. Some others when they want to unpublish their paperback, they do the same thing. They go over here and then they click on unpublished print book. This is wrong. Why is it wrong? Because you have already inputted other keywords on this book. So when you unpublish this way, the keywords that you have already inputed in your book, especially the several boxes that Amazon provides for you, we still have a way of sharing your book on other places and then get you into more trouble. And sometimes you're publishing your book because maybe Amazon wants to unpublish or maybe your book has bad reviews or you, have to, you want to make some changes about the book and you don't want the book to be seen anywhere. So if you don't do this the right way, your books may still have a way of showing up. And some of the times the people will publish their books because their account has been terminated. And so they don't want their former books to be shown on, on the Amazon platform or any other platform again. But if you don't unpublish your books the right way, then your book will show up on such platforms and Amazon may still pick on your account and still terminate any other account to create afterwards. So right now, I'm going to head back to my slides here and I will show you a step-by-step -step process on how you can unpublish your book the right way. So here's the right way to unpublish your book. First, you need to go into the book details and remove all the keywords that you use, especially the keywords that you use in the several boxes provided by Amazon. When you get that done, you just need to head over to Canva, a free website that allows you to create covers and create uh, your book covers you will just go there and create a new book cover on it you will write not for sale and you will go back to your amazon account and on that very book you want to unpublish you will just go up ahead and update a new cover so once you do that after a few days you will receive an email from amazon telling you that your book cover has been updated and then when that is done you will just go back to your platform and hit unpublish. Then your book is properly unpublished. Now I'm going to go through the process and show you how that is done. So if I wanted to unpublish my book like I showed you before, I'll first of all go to my book details in my account and then clear everything in the seven keywords provided by Amazon so I don't get into trouble. So if I wanted to unpublish my ebook, I'll first of all go to book details and while we're here in your book details I just want to show you one or two things first there are three things in your book details that you will be unable to change and that is your book title your subtitle and your author name but of course you can change every other thing so here if you want to unpublish this book of course you won't be able to touch those three but you can first of all delete the entire book description and then you can come over here where we we'll have several boxes for keywords and make sure you clear this place that no keyword is showing. Don't know to unpublish book, this book immediately. If I was going to unpublish it, then that would be what I would do just to clear up these seven spaces that Amazon has created for keywords. And then when you do that, what you need to do next is to head over to Canva or any platform you are using to create your book cover or if you are sourcing it, you are sourcing to whoever is going to create that for you. But of course, you can do this for free in Canva. You don't need to source for this. So you just go back. I'm headed back to my Canva account right now where I will show you how you 
can create your book cover there for free. So here we are in Canva, and all you need to do here is to hit on create a design. And then you will head over, down here and create custom size. And you will make sure that this button is on inches. So mine is already on inches. And whatever the size of your cover is, or whatever the size of your book is, you are going to be imputing it here. So here my book is on it's a six by nine book. So I have already imputed six by nine right here. So once that is done, I will just hit on create a new design. And that will load up and I'll create a cover. I'm already explaining to you how to do that. So now that Canva has loaded up this blank page for us, what we're going to do here is just two things. First, we're going to make this the cover to turn it to black, and then next we're going to put the text on it, and on the text we'll simply write not for sale. So I'll click inside here, and I'll be able to change the color to black. So here I have already made a color here black. So next I go to text, and on the text I will simply just pick on this text here, click it. And to show up here so all i need to do there is just to write not for sale and that's all so i'll just expand it and make it big and visible enough for anyone to see it so once i do that all you need to do is just go over here and go to position and then put it center middle or you may just decide to shift it up a bit. I think that's okay. So here is a simple thing that anyone can do in Canva. So once you know the size of your book, if it's a 8x5x11 by by or 5x8 by or 6x9, you will just choose your custom dimension and create a cover like this. And once that is done, you just head over here and you will click on download. And of course, you know that if you are publishing an ebook, Amazon expects you to use at least a JPEG to upload as your cover. And if it's a paperback, they go for PDF. So whatever it is option you're using, you will click it over here and download. So since I'm going to be on publishing an ebook, I'll click on JPEG. And then the next is just to click on download. And once that download will head back into your account, so now that you are inside your Amazon account, all you need to do next is just to click on these three dots and then you'll see edit book content and you click on that and enter into the book. So once that loads up, you will come over here and change or upload the new cover that you just created that said not for sale. So just click here upload cover for whatever if you are going to do this for ebook you will do the same thing if you are going to do this for hardback or paperback you will do the same thing you will just change the cover and display the new cover that says not for sale and once you upload your cover you just go through the normal process of publishing your book and you will hit publish and after a few days you receive an email from amazon telling you that your book has been updated and then once that has been shown to you that is the right time to go ahead and unpublish your book. So once that is done, here's what you're going to do next to unpublish your book on the platform. All right, so once you have followed all through this process that as I've explained to you, the next thing you need to do is to go back to the three dots and now you can hit unpublish ebook. And at this time you are set, your ebook will not be found anywhere even if someone searches for it and you will be safe so even if your account was terminated and you have created a new account and you're trying to upload new books this using this process to publish your former books is going to help you and if it is that you got in trouble with amazon that are trying to publish your book this process is going to teach you or this process will follow it your book will not be found anywhere thank you for staying with me to the end of this video if you are new to this channel and you're not subscribed please feel free to go ahead and subscribe share this video with your friends and give it a thumbs up and if you're a returning subscriber i want to welcome and thank you especially for staying with me from the beginning of this video even on to the end thank you very much and then until then see you in our next video bye bye